So it's been one year since I sold all my gear for the X-H2S. And in this video, I wanna answer some frequently asked questions that I get all the time. Do you regret switching from the GH5? In short, no. The GH5 was a fantastic camera and it was a great camera to get me started. It was my first camera really that I made all my professional work with. It took me everywhere and it really got me thinking about doing this as a profession. And so I have a lot of love for the GH5. However, I felt the X-H2S was a big step up for me and having to make that decision of trading in all your gear and selling a few bits and bobs to buy something that you don't know how it's going to perform really it's just you've heard reviews online I really thought that um, yeah I was making a big gamble but the gamble paid off the XH2S has been a dream to work with this year and I mean I'm gonna answer more questions about it and you'll see why but I really do think that um, I made the right decision and I have absolutely no regrets. What lens do I most pair with my X-H2S? The lens I constantly have living on here. There are, to be unfair, there are two lenses I use predominantly with the X-H2S. The first being the Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8, and the other would be the Viltrox 13 mm f 1.4. Both of these lenses are fantastic. Um, the one that lives on there the most is the Sigma. I'm filming it with it right now. It's just a powerhouse. With the APS-C sensor it has and the focal length it possesses, the 18 to 35, I, can, I'm, I feel I'm covering all my focal lengths. I don't need to be going any closer or wider really for the, for the work that I do, which is predominantly kind of interviewing YouTube stuff this will sit on there most of the time the low light capabilities of this lens are pretty fantastic the reason I say the Viltrox as well is because if I am in a tight space and I just need to get a little wider that lens really performs I also love taking pictures with the Viltrox that ultra wide is just beautiful and I really feel that if you haven't tried the Viltrox lenses because I feel that they're not only this lens I think that it's quite kind of largely spoken about on the internet that the Viltrox lenses are starting to really outperform some of the Fuji lenses especially for the price point so go check them out they they do sound you know like very appealing and I can speak from experience with the 13 mil. What's my favorite feature about the X-H2S? For me, it has to be the ability to open the gate and shoot in 6.2K. The detail I'm getting from this resolution is fantastic. The aspects ratio of 3.2 is also brilliant for social media, which means I can shoot wide um, and still know that I'm getting a little bit more height by opening the whole sensor up. This is great if I need to, you know, cut something into a short for social media. I know I've got that height that I can still play with. It's definitely my favorite feature. There are loads of great features about this camera. The ability just to shoot in 4K 120 is amazing. Weirdly enough, I've not used that feature as much as I thought. However, it's there along with so many other brilliant things that I love about this camera this sounds a bit like a love fest for the xh2s it kind of is however i love this camera you know i speak about it a lot on this channel it got me going so you know there are many features but that opening the gate is probably my favorite what annoys me most about the xh2s one of the things that annoys me most is not being able to assign one of the dials to the ISO. I don't know why we can't do this. It is does seem a bit odd. However, there is a workaround with this. You can assign the ISO to the D-pad. What I do is I assign it to the up and the down so you can then toggle as and when you need. This is been the best workaround for it that I've seen on the internet but if you know a better way and we can actually sign up then let me know because that would be great. I just want to interject this video to let you know that I am not a professional. This is a channel all about experience. 
I'm learning all the time about my camera and my gear. I'm learning in real time like you are. So if you're new to this channel and you're thinking, oh, this guy sounds like he's got all the answers, you probably know more than me. All I'm saying is I am learning as I go. I'm not a professional um, in terms of gear. This is my profession. This is why I built this channel. It's because we, we can all learn here together. How does the autofocus perform? Fujifilm's autofocus has always been something that has not quite met the standards of something like Sony or Canon. Their autofocus just is more superior. However, with the X-H2S, it is their flagship camera, and I do think they have got their act together with the X-H2S. I haven't had too many problems with the autofocus. Okay, granted, I use it for a lot of talking head stuff, like YouTube. I'm not shooting sport or anything like that. I have experienced only good things. It's pretty impressive, but have I run it for its paces yet? Not really, so I can't, I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about this, but if you wanna do something for what I'm doing, then yeah, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. How solid is the Ibis compared to the GH5? The GH5, as I said, was famous for its IBIS. You could run and gun this thing without no tripods or gimbals or anything like that. That camera was pretty good to go from the off. It has seven stops of in-body stabilization. They really have improved the IBIS in this camera. And I do think in terms of comparing to something like the GH5, I think it now sort of meets the required match. However, um, I, like I said, there are definitely superior cameras out there than the X-H2S, but for me as a hybrid shooter, that's what I am um, when I look at this X-H2S. It is for my photography and it is for my videography. So just my experience, uh, I think it's fine. I think it's perfect. There have been some moments, I have had comments where it looks like um, it wobbles too much, but you know, it's all about preference. And you know, you sometimes you have to make your mind up for yourself with the certain questions. So, and um, what you're gonna use it for. How do I pair my Sigma 18 to 35 with the X-H2S? Yeah, I get this question a lot. So how do I pair my Sigma? Um, because it is built for a Canon body. So I have to use an adapter and I use the Fringer EF-FX Pro 2 adapter. This adapter is fantastic. I really haven't, again, had too many problems with autofocus or sharpness. I think it really does a good job. I have owned this lens twice. I bought this lens when I had a Canon 70D back in the past, and I have bought it again. When I found out that I could mount this to my Fuji, I really was like, well, you know what? I need to give this another chance again. I loved it before. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna love it again on this camera. I found out what best suitable adapter there was out there for this. And like I said, it lives on my camera pretty much all of the time, apart from the Viltrox. Again, look into this. I get this question a lot and it's obviously quite a popular topic. So yeah, check out the Fringer EF-FX Pro 2 adapter. Can you tell me what you assign to C1 through to C7? For C1, I shoot all my A-roll. That is set up for 25 frames per second, F-log 2, all in manual mode. C2 is my B-roll, that is 50 frames per second, F-log 2. And again, that shot completely manually. Um, C3 is slow-mo shoot that 100 frames per second, 4K. C4 is for photography. C5 is for further photography. C6 is my social media. So I shoot everything here at 1080p. C7, I shoot 4K DCI 17 by nine. I shoot this when I wanna shoot quick and high quality. What set of lenses should I get for the X-H2S? Now I spoke about the first two. Um, the Sigma 18 to 35, the Viltrox 13 mil, and the third lens I'm gonna talk about is the Fuji 50 to 140, the telephoto Fuji lens. That lens is so good. I have made a video about that, which you can watch here. It covers all your focal lengths. And why I think it's important is you never know when you're gonna need this. It has popped up a couple of times since I made this video. But I need to make sure I have all of those focal lengths covered. And 
just having that there makes me feel safe and comfortable. So if I have to shoot a wedding or an art exhibition or something where I need to be more of a fly on the wall, this lens has me covered. What is the thing that has surprised you most about the X-H2S? That's a really difficult question to answer because what surprised me is just how formidable it is. It really is a bloody good workhorse. I haven't had many, if any, kind of troubles with this camera. And that is saying something. I use it pretty much every day. My thoughts are only positive. Um, so I guess that's the most surprising thing is that I don't have any gripes. I had some gripes with the GH5, some of the photography and some of the settings and, you know, bits. But we are getting to a place where cameras are so good, they almost offer you more than you need. Of course, there are some things that I would like to see improve. I think IBIS is one well, I know we touched on that, but to run and gun a little bit more with it probably would be a bit more desirable. That's probably the most surprising thing is how many positives I have over the negatives. It's a great camera. It has inspired me to make this channel so we can learn together and have this cauldron pot of ideas um, about our gear. And it's uh, that's what surprises me most. Um, I don't think that's a very good answer, but I think it's the only one you're going to get from me. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope I answered all those questions as well as I could. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comments. I will happily try to answer them. I'm going to say this again, but I am not a professional. This is my profession. I'm always learning. I think we're, I think together we're always learning. So drop them below. I'm sure it will help others. Um, and, you know, we can... Uh, we can all figure this out together. Super grateful for you for tuning in and watching, especially if you've got to this end. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Let's make some waves. I'll see you in the next one.